Hi, I'm Mary McDowell. I'm a livestock nutritionist and I'm just going to go over some feed terms that we use and how you can use those to properly feed your animals. Uh, so when we talk about dry matter content, this is the feed without the water. So this is a very variable between different feeds. So when we remove the water content, it makes it um, easier to compare different feeds and their nutritive value. So metabolizable energy or ME is the energy content of the feed. Similar to in human nutrition, how we talk about calories, um, this is the equivalent in ruminants. So on a feed label, you don't typically get given the ME value, but if you look at the ingredients on the, the feed list, you can have an indication of how much energy will be in that feed. So cereals, which are high in metabolizable energy, like barley and wheat, maize, um, typically, if they're quite high up on the ingredients list, you would guess that it's quite a high energy feed. Things like oat feed um, are not very high in energy, so the higher up they are in the list, you would um, indicate that this is a lower, lower energy feed. So crude protein is a term that we use because it's based on the nitrogen content of the feed which gives an indication of how much protein is potentially there. So if you look at a feed label and it gives you a value of 18% crude protein, this will be quoted on a fresh weight basis um, and it is based on how much nitrogen is in that feed. Uh, it doesn't give you an indication of the quality of the protein which is something you need to look at um, based on the ingredients of what is in the bag.